I have more right to rule than most. There will be dark days ahead. If it's to be war, then so be it. Come, we have work to do. You can't even read the names, it's so low resolution. Welcome to Lords of the Realm 2. You can tell it's from the 90s by how crunchy the video is. My goodness, you can't barely see Welcome it. Welcome to Lords of the Realm 2. Yes, like he said, welcome to Let's Play Lords of the Realm 2. We're just going to play the regular campaign. Please enter your name and select your sheep. We're gonna play the black, cool, black shield, yeah? Feed your peasants to keep them happy and make them multiply. Make weapons and create an army. Conquer thy neighbors. Yeah, so one thing this game does that's kind of weird for a game, back then, or now, I guess, is that every time you play it, it gives you all these, like, hints that have a narrator. Right-click on items for information, left-click to perform actions. Use the slider bar to divide peasants between farming and industry. Clicking on industries on the map switches them on and off. Changes you make in a county do not take place until the following season. Yes, each county is its own little, well, county. So, um, it's, it's kind of like Total War. It's kind of like Total War. You have all these territories. Cattle provide food each season, or they can be eaten. Wheat can be bought from a merchant and planted in winter. Click on a fallow field to change its usage. Plan ahead. Okay, he talks too slow. All right, I think he's done talking for now. So the computer just went, the computer just sent guys to garrison his castle. It's a very, very simple, small castle. So we're in black, he's in red. 
And there's two neutral counties up here. Nobody owns these yet. So you've got this strategic screen where you have all your counties and it's turn-based. And then when two armies hit each other, you get a tactical battle in real time. So it's kind of like the Total War series, but really, really primitive. So, first thing we need to do is get our population up. And you do that by getting your happiness up. And you do that by having low taxes and high rations. All your people are fed by dairy, my lord. And if you have cows, you can... You, it's, it's, it's sort of like having free food that you get dairy every turn. Because you don't have to eat any cows if you're just eating dairy. But... If we double the ration, that'll make them happier, but they're going to eat some cows. So we need grain to double the ration. Luckily, there's a merchant right here. Merchants have to be in your territory. You see these little, these little rock walls? That's the edges of the territory. Merchants have to be in your territory to buy stuff. We want grain because grain is better than cows for feeding your people. Buy these goods, my lord. In the long run. We've got 5,000 bucks. So let's, we can buy, I think it takes about 20 sacks of grain for a field. Go ahead and spend about a fourth of our money on grain. Let's see. And this is like the tutorial country. There's several different countries. This isn't the whole game. There's several different countries that you progress through. This is just the tutorial, so there's only four. Only four counties and one enemy. Now we go over here. Click on the field and then you say select grain. Click on any area for details about it. Click and drag a box. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, so we don't have enough farmers to plant all the grain. Ooh, we simply don't. All right, we don't have enough guys all together. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Cancel planting. What we're going to do for now is... See how there's two cows in every field? That means they have ad average crowding. So let's get the crowding on the cows down now. Now we'll get better reproduction on the cows because it's really sparsely crowded because there's only one in each field. Is that... Okay. We do have enough guys to plant that much grain. but then we're short on cow maids. We just don't have enough population yet. disappointed in how much grain I can plant so far but next year we can plant more all right so we have enough just enough people to handle all of our food needs getting a slow start but our happiness is gonna go up a lot next season because there's no taxes and double rations that's we're trying to get a jump on our population going up so we want our happiness high and double rations also makes you more healthy so that they reproduce better. They don't die as much. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. We, that's really all we can do when we're trying to max population. And at the beginning, this, this guy's not gonna attack at all because it's the early tutorial scenario. So end turn. Thank you. 
And you can see our wheat has been planted. Four fields of wheat. Now our cow population is going to start going up. Your people up. are in good health, my lord. Population's already gone up a bit. Happiness is going up. We've got enough guys to handle all the food. Huge gains in happiness. And we've got enough grain to keep the ration doubled. Go another season. Alright, now our happiness is already pretty high, so let's drop the ration down to save food. Just to normal. It still gives you a little bit of happiness bonus. So it went up 10. Yeah, let's get a little bit of, just a tiny bit of tax, just to start making money. In case any mercenaries show up. Still just have everyone on food production. Okay, 98 happiness. Now we can start raising taxes because we only need two more happiness. So we gain six. Let's raise the taxes up to... Raise it by 5%. Up to six. Six percent taxes. Now we're going to start making money. Population's still going to be going up because they're still happy. really want to make sure you have enough farmers on the wheat during harvest season so you don't lose any of your harvest. We're going to gain almost 500 grain this turn because it's harvest time. And there we go. Now we've got a lot more dudes. So what we can do now, we, we don't have a merchant. Oh wait, we do. He just came in. Okay. Uh, we could sell some cows if crowding gets bad. because we want to switch over to grain to a significant portion. We could sell some cows. The thing about wheat is it takes a lot of guys when you plant and when you harvest. So that kind of makes your economy a little bit stop and go as far as doing anything else but if we sell some cows yeah we just don't have enough farmers to take care of them all so if we sell some then we won't lose so many to waste and we'll get some money now not as many are going to die um, sell some more. We would like more cheese, but yeah, see, now we're actually going to gain cows because their crowding went down a level. Just keep it like this for now. I don't want to overdo it on the grain with this small of a population. Ah, uh, there's mercenaries. Probably can't afford them. But right, you have to click on the army thing. See, Use the slider bar to draft peasants from the population into the army. Yep. All right. A hundred Scottish pikemen. Oh, we can we can hire these guys. Okay. 
You can only have one group of mercenaries per army, but this is a pretty cheap one. Pikemen aren't really going to be very useful, though. Pikemen won't be very useful on this map, because we're not going to be doing any defense or fighting in the open. Pikemen are good for holding back the enemy, fighting out in the open so your archers can get them, but we won't be doing that in this country, so let's uh, just skip that for now. stuff do I have? Not much of anything, right? Because I'm still just still just getting lots of food. Okay. 100% happiness. Let's raise the taxes one more. And how much money do bows cost? Buy these goods, my lord. Alright, let's buy... A hundred bows. Let's go take that territory next door that's neutral. A band of Scottish mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. Yeah, we can't afford to hire them now. So we've got 150 weapons now, so let's draft 150 guys. Plus some more. This is going to knock our happiness way down. And our population. Let's... Hmm. Let's just go with that for now. We should be able to win this battle pretty easily against a neutral. So we've got... These guys are just cannon fodder that don't have any weapons, but they'll take some hits and slow the enemy down. So our happiness went down, so now we need to lower the taxes again, and we don't have enough dudes to handle the cow farming, but we can sell some cows, so not as many will die from neglect. Looks good. Farming's good. Actually, how much money? Do I have enough money to hire those mercenaries? A band of Scottish mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, whoops. A band of Scottish mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. I almost accidentally drafted a bunch of guys. So let's uh, combine these armies. After raising an army, move it toward... Yeah, I don't need to. Combine them. these armies. It's obvious. You just click and they go. Come on. I don't need a tutorial to click and go. So we put the pikemen together with our other guys, so now it's like... This is one of your armies. It's, it's a lot of guys now. 125 archers, 100 pikemen, 25 swordsmen. And we're almost ready to attack this town on the next turn. Just make sure this is still good, good, good. Let's go. Let's go take territory. The presence of your men-at-arms in our country is unacceptable. Remove your troops now or face the consequences. To try to conquer a county, attack it by moving your army on top of the town center. Yeah, I already did that, I know. So yeah, he's got 60 archers and 137 peasants. So this will be, this will be a bloodbath. Now we get into the real-time combat, which is very simple in this game. 
real-time combat's very simple. You don't really have formations or anything. And also, you notice, we don't have as many guys as it says, because it's got eight, eight guys per unit. So it kind of condenses the guys down. Pikemen out in front because they're very good at defending. Actually, maybe the peasants just because they're kind of useless. Now, what is he trying to do? He's just clumping together. We don't really have any good fast moving attackers, so we're going to want to try to out archer this guy since that's our big advantage. Might send the swordsman around the side to attack the archers from behind, maybe? Once we're engaged. He's just turtling. He's not doing nothing. Ready. Of course, sir. New orders, sir. At the double Titan ready. Sir, quick march. Yes. All right. So the swordsmen are pretty much good all-rounders. I just don't have very many of them. Close enough. At your service. Archers, pull. Roman ready. Of course, sir. Your He's... orders, my lord. Follow me. He's still just hanging out. Sure, he can't start getting shots at us. New orders, sir. At your service. Archers, pull. Whoops. Archers, pull. Roman ready. I got my right clicks and my left clicks mixed up. Of course, sir. All right. Send some peasants forward. At your service. Let's just keep them all mixed together. Ready. Let's see how close I have to get an archer. At your service. Archers, Figure out exactly what the range is. Roman ready. 
Here they come. Alright, so their peasants are getting mowed down, trying to attack. Now the archers are going to try to shoot. Let's see if the knights can get there. I mean, sorry. Not knights, swordsmen. Attack the archers from behind. Yeah, they're just not even going to get there. They're dying too quick. And archers are terrible in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So once we get on them, they're doomed. And they're doomed. So I, I lost one peasant. I lost eleven pikemen. That's okay. They're um, they're the mercenaries. That's fine if that. I'm surprised I lost archers. I guess their archers came and shot over the line at me because they got up close. But still, we did quite good. Brother, the county has fallen to our troops. You have made an excellent start in your attempt to become a king. There is a way you can cheese the game by just like going scorched earth and destroying your own counties by taxing the hell out of them and drafting everybody and creating a junk army. And then you just run through the whole country with a junk army, but that's it's, it's, we want to build we want to be the lord of the realm. We want to like conquer and have, make a good country. That's what we want to do. We don't want to cheese it. But you don't actually have to own all the territories, you just have to kill your enemies. So we really just have to kill this one red one. But if we take all these over, then we have more... We have a bigger tax base. And stuff to draw from. So this army should still be able to take the next one too, but... We've used all our movement for this turn. Does this county have any grain? It does. Oh, it's not planting season. Never mind. Wait till planting season. Uh, buy some more grain. Buy these goods, my Ooh. lord. I'm out of money. What can I sell? Nothing. I could, sell, I could sell some cows. All your people are fed by dairy, my lord. Okay, I could sell some cows. Because right now there's enough dairy to feed everybody. So... There's enough dairy to feed everybody, so that means I have surplus cows. I can sell some cows. All your people are fed by dairy, my lord. Now here's an unemployed guy, because we have all the cow herders we need. So let's, uh... This is the only stone quarry I have, so let's put you on quarrying stone. This place has an iron mine. That's an iron mine. Different territories have different resources to some extent they I think they all have wood they all have a blacksmith so I don't have money we're recovering now let's get the taxes down so the happiness goes up here this place is okay It's all good. 
in the turn. See what happens. Start marching on the other county. That's a long walk. He's way on the other side of the county. Sell some cows again because we're about to switch some of this over to grain. We don't need that many people taking care of cows because we don't need population growth on cows. We're about to plant wheat. So we got some forestry getting wood, we got some stone miners getting stone. And these guys are still all working on food. We don't really need that much population growth on cows though. Let's get some iron mining going. Uh oh. Heavy rains turn into a deluge, and a field is lost as swelling rivers burst their banks. So we sometimes you get events where your stuff gets destroyed. So we lost a field, cow field. We had a flood. All right, it's time to plant. Get all these guys out of there. Plant all that seed. Okay, that's more than we need. I'll put you back on wood duty. Okay. Um, yeah, happiness still going in the right direction. Happiness is about to get too high here. Get more taxes. Eventually we can reclaim that field once the flooding goes down. Did this guy move? Oh yeah, move the army. Take over the next county. The presence of your men-at-arms in our county is unacceptable. Remove your troops now or face the consequences. Get ready to eat arrow, nerd. Now the field is just mud and we can start reclaiming it. it. Takes a while. It takes a while to reclaim it and a lot of labor. So that's what this is. These guys are reclaiming the field. And the fastest you can do it is four seasons, I think. It just takes time. There's a limit. Oh. oh. We got a good event. Random stone was found. We got some random stone added to our pile. We got mercenaries, but we don't have much money. Probably can't afford them. Let's see what they are. A band of Irish mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. 
Can't afford. Happiness is getting good though. Let's raise a little bit of tax. Raise the tax there. We've nearly maxed the happiness. Can't quite make it to the town. But we can get close. guy's cows are crowded and he's got a wasted field let's take this over oh this is a little bit better of a fight we still have the advantage because a lot of his guys are just peasants this will be a closer fight though See what his strategy is. Is he going to come at us? Or is he going to stand still? Lightning ready! What now? Okay, my lord. Sir! Of course, sir! Is he going to defend the bridge? Is that what he's doing? Your orders, my lord? Yeah, we only got one way to get there, and that's the, uh, bridge. Unless we dig. I think you can dig, you can dig moats in. I guess you can probably dig this in, too. Oh, pleasure! I guess? Can you dig this in? On our way! Maybe not. On our way! Oh, pleasure! On our way! Thank you, service! Of course, sir! Alright, so he's just hanging out at the bridge. What's this guy doing? Lone archer got confused. Went to this time. I won't be able to catch him before he gets over there. What is he trying to come down? He's trying to come down here. He changed his mind. All right. All right, so he's just hanging out. We are ready. Let's go. So what's our advantage? He's got a lot of peasant. I guess our advantage is in melee. Since we got all these pikes and some swordsmen. Your orders, my lord? On our way. So I guess we'll want to try to get up north and rush him, where Your there's orders, a lot of room. Sir. Draw swords! Our pleasure! Pikemen, ready! Bowmen ready! Archers, go! Sir. He's still not moving. Your orders, my lord. On our way. He's got some pikes, but mostly peasants. He's got lots of archers, though. We'll take some hits running in. Hold the swordsmen back. Um, yeah, let's let the pikemen... The pikemen are the mercenaries. Pikemen are the mercenaries so they can take all the hits. Along with the peasants. But they won't amount to much. And then send the swordsmen in last. Ready. Archers, pull! We are ready! Of course, sir! 
Still standing still. guys off my archers. He came running out. I didn't expect that. Okay, we got this one though. We're getting in on his archers now. Damn it. Click properly. That was messier than I would have liked. He he charged his peasants like past my pikemen into my archers. I didn't expect that messiness. So what? Uh, yeah, I, lo I didn't lose that many archers, but some. I still have some peasants left somehow. This county all but seals your conquest. One more county, and the crown is yours. Alright, so, there's still some mercenaries in there, so we won't be able to combine it with other mercenaries. I was kind of thinking all the pikemen might die, but he, he went around to my plan. Alright, so this is 100% happiness. Your people are in good health, my lord. Pay some more taxes. Getting good happiness. Now this place. He's got some grain, but it's not time to plant. Spread those cows out. And sell a bunch. Because you got too many crowded in. That's better. All your people are fed by dairy, my lord. That's not going to work. Okay. Get the taxes down to make them happy, I guess. All right. What do we got? Still not a lot of resources. But we've got our population and our happiness pretty high. And this guy's just gonna sit here and do nothing other than keep his castle garrison till we come and get it.
All your people are fed by dairy, my lord. We don't need the dairy growing like that. Let's get some... Start making some weapons. You can make weapons with your blacksmith. To build a weapon, you must produce or buy the necessary amounts of iron and or wood. I haven't seen any macemen yet. Macemen are cheap. It might actually be better to buy maces though. Let's make some bows. Yeah, maces are cheap. To buy these goods, my lord? We could buy uh, well over a hundred. Are there any mercenaries that we could hire? No. Alright, let's buy some maces. Macemen are very fast moving and high, high attack. But they die easy. To buy these goods, my lord? Let's just make sure the counties are all good on their labor. Well, we don't. We don't need the cows going up. The game tends to auto-locate too much labor to cows, because... When your cows are crowded, it's really inefficient, so you don't want your cow population to get too high. Alright, let's go. I've got mercenaries, but I've got no money. It's all good. Let's make some maces here. At this location. Different counties can make different weapons. Hmm. Actually, let's do maces here, because we need iron, and this is the only place we can get it. So let's do maces at the other place. Do iron here. And over here, uh, just keep going. Stop putting so many people into cows. Okay. What do we got? So 
So I'll go ahead and get into this guy's territory. Get ready to start attacking his stuff. Enough of that turn. So you can tear up your enemy's territories, like do damage to his stuff if you attack his locations. Like this will knock the population down if we attack the village. Slaughter these villagers. <laughs> yeah. Too many cows. Let's, let's eat some cows. Since we can't sell them, let's eat some. Raise the taxes to cancel out the happiness gain that's going to give us. Oh, he's mad now. This is an enemy army. This is an enemy army. They call themselves the heroes. Come on. I guess he wants to fight. I didn't think he would come out. Well, I can't see exactly what he's got. But it's not his garrison, so it's probably not too much. Oh, it's 48 peasants. Are you kidding me? He sent 48 peasants to fight me. Alright, so... We don't even have to... really worry about this. Is he gonna attack? He can try. Stopped at the bridge. do a pincer move with my archers. If they don't get caught on the bridge, like dummies. Guys, pathfind. Okay. Closing in on him from multiple directions. He's not moving. Archers, pull! At your service, of course, sir. New orders. Lightning, 
Alright, let's... What now? Let's separate out the pikemen. Get out of there. Send the pikemen to block the bridge. And send in the archers. He's moving. Of course, sir. Oh, I came this way too. That didn't work. He regretted that. I did not lose any men. You are becoming a problem, my friend. If you do not desist in your current aggressive stance, you will leave me no choice but to attack. I'm not scared. I am, however, out of movement points. Alright, so what da, 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 we got quite a lot of dudes there. Alright, uh this is free now, so we can spread out that again. We regained that. Oh, I forgot to switch these guys. It doesn't matter. We're about to win. So we're going to go ahead. This has a lot of territory. Do we have any mercenaries? No. We still have the ones we already hired, though. So let's raise an army here. We got 177 maces and... Quite a few bows as well. So we can max out our mace. <laughs> I just realized the uh, the music loop glitch has started. Um, yeah, I can, I can kind of like, I, I've got the songs for the game copied and I can just play them through a uh, media player because sometimes the game has a glitch where the music just starts looping the same five seconds over and over again, like it just was, but we're almost done here. So we'll just go ahead and finish it, It's not going to let me just walk. Is this terrain considered impassable? I guess. And make me walk all the way around. So that's going to take a while. Alright, so we dropped the population here. Let's see how that affected. Yeah, it means we don't have enough guys to work the field. There we go. Oh, these guys are all unemployed. What happened here? Oh, maybe I ran out of iron to make maces. Or why is there... What's, what's going on with the cows? Why is that dropping so much? Yeah. Oh, because I did the ration thing. Okay. Now the cows are going up. And... It seems to have reset the people to go to the blacksmith for whatever reason. I'm not sure. Sometimes you do something and it makes something else change in a way that I don't understand or predict. So that's why I kind of always check the labor pool every time I'm done with a county. So 
still don't have a lot of excess stuff. Oh. We can raise taxes here. How's the happiness and taxes looking? Lower them a bit here, since we just drafted a bunch of people. The population going in the right direction again. By increasing happiness. Okay, so we've got... This army's on the way. This guy can still keep destroying stuff while he waits for the reinforcements to get here. Just see if the music works again now. It's weird, it's a longer loop than it usually is, but it's still a loop. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so this guy can keep destroying. We can destroy his wood production. We could destroy his farms. Except it doesn't seem like I can get there for some reason. Can we not destroy farms. Destroy the blacksmith, the wood guy. Let's destroy the black... Well, let's go in order. The wood choppers. Yeah, it does seem like this terrain is just considered impassable. Which... That sucks. We gotta go the long... Long, long way around. We got mercenaries we could hire, maybe. A band of Irish mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. All right, I keep forgetting I still have my original mercenaries, and we only need one army, so we can't merge it. Okay, um, so that's fine. How am I doing on weapons? Not many yet. Still, I could buy more maces. We buy more maces, make another army. Buy these goods, my lord. In this town, to merge. A band of Irish mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. So we'll hire, we'll draft. Some macemen and archers to join these macemen and archers. This is one of your armies. It's going to be a pretty big army by the time it's all conglomerated, because on the next turn I'll hire some people here. Where's the merchants? Sell some wood. We won't need that much. All right. See if he does anything, tries to do anything again. I bet he won't. Heavy rains turn into a deluge, no. and a field is lost as swelling rivers burst their banks. No, it's up here. Ag's curse. Witches curdle your... Witches curdle your cow's milk and turn your cheese moldy. Some people are ill. We got cursed by a witch. Made our health go down. Our health is in yellow now instead of green. Oh. Okay, will it let me destroy the farm? Yeah. Destroy these crops. 
Enough of your childish behavior. Your actions carry grave penalties. Desist! Me. No, I don't think I will. I have selected a very special pike. It is the one upon which your head will soon be stuck. Big words for a guy that sent out like 40 peasants to fight me. Alright, so that's doing okay. This is doing okay except for the loss of that field. You don't need to be getting stone. We're not going to build a castle so we don't need the stone. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's uh, wheat planting time. I guess we could switch this over. A little bit. We don't have that much to plant, but we could plant some. Or, oh, our cows are too crowded. Sell some cows. Cows are doing better. Don't need this many people working on them. All right. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. I think I forgot to move my armies on that turn. I'm surprised he managed to get this much together. Wait, I mean this much. Okay. 50 knights. Where did you get 50 knights? Um, what's the runaway button? Retreat from this battlefield. Oh. If you retreat, it auto-resolves? Is that what that does? I was hoping I could actually, like, run the away. Black Death is spreading across the county. Oh, come there on. There is neither a peasant nor a nobleman that has not been touched in some way. Can't believe it. Try to reclaim that field. Combine these armies. All right, that's a pretty big army now. We got two dudes, visibly. I can't do much with this county over here with everybody dying. Well, that, that, where, how did he get that big army together? To come and bother me. How much did I have in this one? This army? is one of your armies. 280 million, 61. I need more archers. Not really. Since we're going to be attacking a castle, really 280 macemen will probably do it. But let's uh let's add some more um meat shields. How much money do I have? Uh I could hire more mercenaries if there were any, but I they're not they're not there aren't any mercenaries. What can I sell? I could sell you know, could sell some wood. But let's just buy Some bows. Buy these goods, my lord. Mm. 
to buy these goods, my lord? Bows are expensive. Let's make some bows. Why did that change? See, why did putting, why did changing from maces to bows change how many farmers there were? Like, I don't know why that would change that. Just have the same number of blacksmiths to do a different weapon. This guy's not making any bows, even though there's a guy there. Population just so low that one dude doesn't count for anything. All right, so we've got a fairly big army on the way. Now there's mercenaries. Who are a they? A band of Irish mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. Pikemen again, 3,500. I might be able to get 3,500. We can sell some cows for one thing because they're overcrowded. That gives me 3,500. We might want to have a little bit more just in case. You got to pay their seasonal wages, and I don't know if it takes it at the beginning or the end of the turn. Sell all, sell all of our stone. Now, higher. A band of Irish mercenaries is available for hire, my lord. We've got 107 weapons, so let's do a little bit of drafting, too. Now we're going to have a huge army. This one's two dudes, that one's two dudes. No more messing around. Is he coming north? I don't think he wants to do that. All right. All your people are fed by dairy, my lord. Hmm. <laughs> We double the rations, they'll maybe get healthier quicker, but I mean they will get healthier quicker, but it is gonna eat up resources. Okay, both our armies have moved. Let's we gotta get this done. This is taking way too long. This should not take this long, but he sent out that guy with knights and he's where did he get knights? At this stage of the game. That's some kind of retribution bonus if you kill their crops or something. All right. I think we're getting ourselves ready to win. He's marching north. He's mad now. All right, we found some, some more hidden stone found, sure. Bonus stones. This guy's got some bonus stones. He's about to go down. All right, this is a weird location. There's a central thing. A 
What's he going to do? He's going west. Let's see if the music's working again. Nope. Once it starts being messed up, it's messed up. Alright, um... Is he stopping there? I don't have that many archers. Let's just be safe with the archers and just rush. Yes, sir! The maceman at him. Maceman! Forward! Come on, lads! No problem, Gov! Come on, lads! Try not to let any get isolated out alone. Make sure we get a big crowd to run in and get them. Yeah, they're taking their time. They're not good at pathfinding. They get stuck on the territory, but okay. Now let's bring in archers. Roman ready! Archers, ho! Just to help ready, them my lord. deal damage once the melee has started. What? Oh. My archers are getting hits already. Okay. I didn't think they were in range. We'll crush them! Let's get them! Yep. Yeah. Down goes My their archers. Forward. We'll enjoy this! That was quick. Lost a few macemen. He had knights. I mean, it wasn't going to go perfect. So everybody's moved. Uh, let's check on the towns. Whoops. How is my supplies? Not a huge amount of anything. This, this place is getting a little bit more healthy, but they've... All your people are fed by dairy, my lord. They're eating too much food. But we're about to have a good harvest, so... Right. We already fought for this turn, so we're... Done. He's still got a field he's not using, even though I killed these two up here. Like, inefficient, man. Inefficient. All right, let's in the turn.
Let's go ahead and start the siege and get this over with. I think, I'm pretty sure that army can join the siege. Well, maybe not. Let's, I think they can. Let's see. Siege this castle. So it's a simple little thing. So we're just going to build a couple of battering rams. It's going to take three seasons. But once that one comes and joins it, it'll only take one more. So they'll, the more guys you have, the quicker they build the siege equipment. Just make sure everything vaguely looks okay, because we're about done. I can't sell any cows. There's nobody to sell them to. Now if you combine these yeah. armies, and now it's down to one turn because there's enough guys. We got we got a three, a three guy stack attacking a tiny little nothing castle. That's excessive. It's it's too much. I've got 640 men, he's got 140. In his little bitty wooden castle. Not going to go good for him. Go ahead and move the battering ram up. Take out this gate. That's a gate. You can't really tell from above, but that's a gate. He's going to try to shoot at it, but... Battering Ram's got 16 strength, so he's not going to do much. Yes, sir. He sent his archers outside They'll the wall. Crush them. Go get some archer. Oh. He dumped the boiling oil on me. Hurts his guys too, though. Come on, lads! Hey, he killed my battering ram. I don't need the other one. There's only one gate on this castle, and it's down. Does he have another boiling oil, or just the one? Just the one, I guess. Alright, so we just need... Ready, my lord! Bunch of macemen to go get the flag. Maceman, forward! He'll probably block me from getting the flag, but you know. Omen ready! Leave it to us, sir! Yes, sir! Come on, lads! Come oh, there on, we go. Lads! You don't have to kill everybody, you just gotta get the flag. So we lost 30 or 40? 30. We lost 30 macemen taking a castle and a battering ram. The addition of this shire to your lands brings the whole country within your grasp. Treachery and villainy have caused the righteous king to fall to such depths. A pox on you all. Oh no, not a pox. But that was just the first country. Events move on apace, and a new, greater challenge awaits in rows. You start fighting for, like, actual countries. Eventually. These first couple are just fictional little... Little test beds, kind of. This 
This time there's two enemies, so we'll come back next time and do this. But it's kind of... It's not quite symmetrical, but you've got this little central county that connects to all the other counties. And we've got two enemies this time. We've got the Baron and the Knight. What's the Knight going to be like? He's going to be a big loser. We've just got this little boot-shaped county down here at the bottom. And again, there's the little tiny... Little tiny wooden castles is all we're dealing with for now still. But we'll come back next time and see if the music glitch is fixed or if I might have to start playing it from Windows Media Player. It's glitched until I reload the game at least. We'll be back next time on Lords of the Realm 2 Part 2.